morning, citizens of the internet. It is day 48, and we are recording a brand new episode of 100 Days of Making Comics. Oh, yes. It is going to be a wonderful day. I've mostly got business to do, but instead of failing in my duties as an artist, I have decided to start the day off with one hour of comics and not get bogged down in all the uh, the restaurant stuff I'm doing at the moment which is completely taking over my life also in case you haven't noticed just as I thought I was getting better <laughs> I wake up like this and I uh, yeah I should get a part in some silly movie actually that's what I'm thinking but um, Sunday night I got home early Sunday night I got home early and um, and I started working on reformatting the menu for work and that turned out to be such a mission like unbelievable I worked on it all of yesterday it's still not done and I, I thought oh, I'll just do this in a night so today I have to finish it but it is now 10 o'clock in the morning and um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get started on my page for an hour let's see how that goes hmm? so I'll check back with you guys in just a little bit all right let's go um, I'm still continuing drawing I just shot this, I turned it into a quick time lapse on my phone, it's all nice and super fast. And now it is playing right beside me, continuing the work on this these page two inks. Um, so let's see if I can do the old uh, talk and draw. So I'm sorry about my voice, I hope this is all going to be um, understandable once it hits the uh, the internet waves. I didn't, I only just thought, man, I didn't really warm up at all this morning, and I really noticed it drawing, but I'm also just so run down and groggy that I'm kind of just like, fuck it, whatever, I'm doing it, I'm finishing this as quickly as possible, and I don't care what it looks like. Um, so there's definitely some lines here that need some cleaning up. But then I also kind of feel like, and this is a uh, a digital versus traditional comment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like if this were, like, if this were pen and ink on paper, I would, um, I would totally be okay with it and just fix it up. If you know what I mean, like I would just, you know, do the drawing and then fix it up. And I, I kind of feel like it's a. Um, I guess what I'm saying is this is more like a mental thing. Where I feel like. Digital, versus traditional. There's a difference. When really it's just my my workflow is different, and not the actual tools tools are just the same i mean they feel a little bit different but like you can do the same thing of course there's no no one's stopping me doing from what i, I want to do um i'm still very pleased i've oh okay and then i completely mess up a line thank you command z i'm still very pleased with this uh ink brush i've got a couple I'm happy with. I just kind of went with one of them. You know, you can't. Well, basically, I'm I'm out of time, so I can't faff about. Not get anything done. And who knows? Maybe, just maybe, like I discovered uh, on Sunday. This is the only hour I get. However much I'd love to. Uh, have another go tonight. This might just be the only hour. I 
So what am I drawing? I'm drawing a big mining vessel, science fiction mining vessel, grinding its way through rock. And the wanderer is hiding behind a rock. There we go, a little special effect using the eraser. Okay, see, okay, back to inks. And this is gonna be before his uh, unfortunate, I guess, discovery. Um, so as I'm drawing these, just having a quick look at the video, not speed lines, but uh, light lines. Uh, one of so I'm starting to think a little bit more about color. Um, I'm very much a black and white guy. I love me some black and white art. It's nice and juicy. Gets me all excited. But um, looking at, I mean, reading comics and looking at uh, some of my favorite artists and what they get up to. Um, I just noticed a lot of really neat little effects colorists use where they, they take the, because one of the things I worry about is the, um, one of the things I worry about is like, am I shading too much? Am I going a little too, am I a little too shade happy? I'm trying to color it in with ink and I should just leave it to the colorist who is also going to be me, of course. Um, but then there's this really neat effect where they basically, they take the ink they take the lines and they just um, they just color them in as well, you know? And it's really cool. And so now I'm a lot less worried where it's like, okay, yeah, so this is maybe a little too much if it were black and white, but I could just take those lines and just give them the color of the background or a little bit darker. And we can just fix it up that way. I still find time here and there to make little character sketches and try out different scenes uh, at work during my breaks or before and after the start. I just sit down somewhere and I thought I'd insert some um, right here to kind of show you what is still going on in the back uh, as I still come up with new scenes. Um, I do want to focus heavily this week on finishing up the pages and like getting lots and lots of of the heavy lifting done but at the same time I have these I have these little clips and sometimes I just shoot so many little clips it's hard to keep track and I'm, I'm almost worried I'm gonna I'm gonna just forget about them and there's no point in even showing them that's my little scary monster scene that just came popped out of the imagination <clears throat> so I want to draw another one and I want to I th all of a sudden I thought, group shot, group shot, but then group shot, that's painful, that's hard, okay. So now I'm back to the old rule of no hesitation, and just draw it. Um, so, the, so I started drawing someone getting a hug, and one thing that is sorely lacking from my story that I've only mentioned as an idea 
Man, I hope the sound comes out all right. <laughs> so what I've only mentioned as an idea is like, like I should, are people going to hook up? Is there some kind of love interest or like so people caring about each other? Um, so this hug is like just putting some some of the characters together in an embrace. And out of rags. Instead of going straight home, I thought I'd make a little pit stop at the local takeaway place where they were having an in-depth conversation while I wanted nothing but my favorite dish. No, that, not that one. The chicken, black bean sauce, and egg fried rice while watching Little Rebels before getting back into the comic book. You gave me a chance to live that day. Now, in the Clone Wars, you fought in the third battle of Mike Ito. And I was there. Darkness has fallen, and I'm getting sleepy. Tomorrow I have to get up very early again, I discovered today, and there's more training to be done. But in the meantime, we are getting back into Photoshop straight away. Before we sit down for too long and get lazy and lazier and laziest. Yes, let's put that pen down. Let's get some lettering done. First little bit of comic book action, and then we'll look at some uh, some homework. I've got a runny nose. I really want to incorporate these letters into the art. <coughs> Instead of lettering them. But I'm not sure how this is going to come out since... This is really... Oh my god. My nose is just... Okay, time for the next letter. While well, you are still watching the first one. I'm having issues with some of the lines that I've drawn already. Mostly because um, I'm just drawing everything freehand, which is nice. But I think some of these lines could do with a ruler, and I don't know how to do that in Photoshop. I think you hold on a shift key or something. I don't know. I suppose it's not terribly important. But some of these lines are a little too wavy. If that makes any sense. Sometimes I feel like I'm treating inking like the new sketching. Okay, let's come with quits for this segment and let's hurry up a little bit more. And I will see you in the next segment, which we will title. Let's think about that. 
crack.